Another US billionaire has taken to Twitter to lay out his vision for ending the war in Ukraine. According to Bill Ackman, peace starts with the West acknowledging Russia's historical claims when it comes to Crimea. Crimea was part of Russia until 1954 and is largely comprised of ethnic Russians, which was apparently why the world did little when Russia annexed it back in 2014. If we return to the status quo, Russia is not rewarded for its aggression and Ukraine can immediately begin to rebuild with support from the West. Sure. Well, this is billionaire investor Bill Ackman, and he's getting on social media and putting forward a peace proposal and acknowledging that, in fact, there is credibility to Russia's claims to both Crimea and Donbass. Now, of course, there was immediately a firestorm in response to what he said on social media. Here is some of the response. All these billionaires wanting to school us about history are leaving out important bits that show their ideas are bad. Shouldn't people in Crimea determine if they want to be part of Russia or Ukraine? Crimea is not a chip to trade. It's filled with people. If those people choose via referendum, which is a real vote, not staged, then we should live with the result. No, it's been Ukrainian all the time. Russia had no say at all. Now, this comes as we're facing a situation where we just heard from Elon Musk. Uh, he put forward a different peace proposal, but he also is speaking up and talking about the need to de-escalate. Elon Musk uh, acknowledged uh, some of the concerns. Similar statements were made. It was a different peace proposal, but he's another billionaire in the United States who has quite a bit of influence. And he also made similar statements. Uh, let's review what was said by Elon Musk regarding the possibility of negotiating peace in Ukraine. Ukraine-Russia peace. Redo elections of annexed regions under UN supervision. Russia leaves if that is will of the people. Crimea formally part of Russia as it has been since 1783, until Khrushchev's mistake. Now, the fact that we have billionaires in the United States speaking up and making these points on social media, while we're not hearing that from the mainstream media or from the politicians, shows that something is happening beneath the surface. And the reality is that the results facing the energy markets, as well as facing the global economy as a result of sanctions on Russia, are not good. Um, at the same time, we have a situation in the United States where we're facing a lot of inflation. Uh, the cost of living is going up. Food prices, energy prices are through the roof. Americans are not happy, and we're heading into the upcoming midterm elections on November 8th. So it appears that beneath the surface within the American power structure, there are many that are questioning the policies that we're seeing from the White House. And it, it appears that while, you know, mainstream media and the political establishment in the United States seems to be in lockstep regarding Ukraine policy, uh, there are many within the power structure and uh, within the population overall that are questioning it and questioning the results. So this is quite hopeful what we've seen from Elon Musk and now from Bill Ackman, uh, the economic consequences. Uh, that have resulted from U.S. policy of escalating the conflict in Ukraine uh, seem to be something that have many people concerned.